My heart bleeds in dahlia petals, the stems torn from inside and widening too fast to play at love. I am lying in the darkness at full length, plain toes turned up and my body hollow. Ruddy skin and gloomy hips vacillate in cotton covers thrown down to cover my sins. The time for us just was not right. You were always my weakest point, my sense of foliation, my levity. In these ways, I desired your complacency, our twinning grins and drunkenness, turns at the chaser and the runner, hours by hours. When we were supposed to make other appointments, we constrained our time together. I had the entire world inside my head. There in our bed, staying in love was effortless in the first weeks of spring. Motives shaken off like purple panties thrown behind the headboard, hiding with the dust in the paperbacks, bearing my lilies, tiny peach tree holding tightly to the last time you said you loved me. I have been your grotto, your shield, your homesickness. In florist terms, you have been my stamen, my woodcock, my obelisk, thrush full of salicylic water and beautifully arranged for the pleasure of others, with your blooms dying every little bit, a little more every day in arduous colors, sold to strangers for $35 and change. I am cloud-capped and I am icy. I am like Bjork as a swan. A crier, a martyr, a dauntless mess of composted leaves spread out with the clippings of the day. In the upper register, I am coupling with the earthworms, the coffee grounds, the bark chips. I champion the wrought iron fences. The earwigs are my army. I foot with the white wing moths and herald the mosquitoes song. Having little meaning but for scorn, I nourish. I wind away like the garden path, an insipid, jaunty female energy, wilting and soured in these changes, catch the last scented blossoms where they fall. My heart bleeds in dahlia petals, like those of mothers, those of daughters. As a substitute or equivalent, I am faithfully the interim.